Logos are important. Like, take this can of peanuts, for example. It's got a giant monocled peanut dude on the front of it, which means that it's planters, which means they can charge twice as much as the same peanuts in a different can. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Zealand, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install all of the real logos into your game of Football Manager. Uh, and there are a lot of different options that you have when it comes to picking a logo pack that you want to use. The logo pack I'm going to be using is just the one that I've been using for years because it's the one that I found some way in the past. But even though I'm making this tutorial video, it doesn't mean that it's the best logo pack for you. There are a bunch of ones that format the logos different ways. They're shiny, they're metallic, whatever. I highly encourage you to go to Google, type in football manager logo pack, uh, and this process is generally going to be the same. Uh, you're going to have to download a logo pack, and in order to do this, you're gonna need a little space on your drive. So take this moment to check your storage, uh, delete any of the things uh, on the storage that you do not need, or if you already have uh, Modern Warfare, like the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I guess you're out of luck, you don't have the room. Sorry. That all being said, that's all you'll need and your fingers ready to go. Okay, first thing I'm gonna need you to do is open up a web browser, very difficult, and type in, you know, FM21 logo pack, boom. And the top one on this logo pack is the one that I've been using for years. It's been around forever and it has you know, all of the logos formatted in the same way, which is nice. But again, if you want more stylized logos and there's a bunch of different tinier leagues that might not have the logo in this pack, even though there's over 60,000 logos in this pack for everything from actual clubs to continental confederations, which of course the actual game football manager doesn't have the rights to, that's why we have to do this. Then you can go out and find that somewhere else. But we will be using TCM, uh, the TCM logo pack. They got a really nice looking website, don't they? We're on TCM and all you need to do is not click on anything, just scroll down. And then it's like, do you want to load, do you want to download the pack? And you will click that button rather obviously. And basically whatever logo pack you're downloading, it's going to look like this. And then you are going to scroll down and you're going to have different download options. Now with every logo pack and with every face pack, which is another video that I've made and has like come out about the same time as this one, since we're doing all these the same time. But you'll have a bunch of download options. Uh, they range from a Google Drive to a Mega Drop, Mega, me, um, Omega, Mega. The website's called Mega, to a torrent. Uh, if you want to learn how to torrent, that is in the face pack video. So I'm not gonna repeat that here. And there isn't even a face pack, or <laughs> there isn't a face pack here because that was the other video, Zealand. Get it together. There isn't a logo pack download that's a torrent. You have Mega up to Box and Mediafire. Mediafire and Mega are basically the same thing. They're storage sites uh, similar to Drive, but they have more access for you for downloads and those sorts of things. Uh, and so we're going to use Mega. I'll show you how to use that one. And it's really not something that you need to be showed how to use because it kind of just opens Mega uh, and then it just starts downloading. Obviously, I have already downloaded it, but that's it. That's all you have to do. It's much more simple than torrenting. But again, if whatever logo pack you want to use, Torrent is always the best option when it's available, meaning it'll download faster. So you probably learn how to do it anyway. So you've downloaded the Mega, then it's going to ask you where you would like to put that Mega. That's where we come over to this screen right here, because you want to go into Documents. You want to, what, what do I have here? A lot of things. Anyways, you want to go into Sports Interactive Football Manager 2021, and you want to create a folder called Graphics. Might already be there, but it's definitely not there if you haven't created it yet. So you create a folder, just name it Graphics, nothing else fancy, that's all you need to do. Click in there, and then I've created two separate folders. I've got Faces and Logos. I'm gonna take that pack uh, and put it into that Faces folder, because that's all Faces stuff. Actually, I'm gonna leave that out there, because I just don't want to deal with the same name. Actually, I can do this. I can do this. I'm a man of technology. Let's go. None of that is important. You can make a face and logo pack for extra organization, or you could not. It does not matter. So in the logos, that is where I chose to download the mega pack TCM21.rar. Uh, and when you see something that is .rar and is a type rar file, that some gun is zipped. If you don't know what that means, then I always make fun of people that don't know what a zipped file is, but I'm kind of here to help you figure that out. So I'll, I'll spare you that today. You need to download something called 7-Zip, only if you have Windows. If you're on Mac, you can extract this 
immediately. You don't need 7-Zip if you are on Mac to extract this because it already has something built in. You just right click and extract. Once you download 7-Zip, which is a very simple program, that is just there to unzip files that it does not have an intimidating website you just download something and i promise it will work uh, then you right click 7-zip and extract files here you will see a screen that pops up like this you are going to just click ok because you're already in the right spot and once you click ok there will be a lot of loading that goes on that's not going to happen because i do not want to replace this file that i have already extracted and it takes a few minutes but once you finish extracting it it will be a folder and then there will be a folder inside of that folder. And then there will be more folders inside of those folders. And then there will be more folders inside of those folders. And then there will be more folders inside of those folders. And then there will be more folders inside of those folders. And then there will be more folders. You guessed it inside of those folders and then you didn't see that one coming did you there will be more folders inside of those folders and then you will see club badges but the real key and the thing you want to check to make sure it installed properly uh, is that at some point somewhere over the freaking rainbow there is a config file at the end of all of this because the config files at the ends of the folders are what tell the logos where to go. And if something messed up in the installation, 95% of the time, it's the fact that that little text document is not at the end of all of your fancy bright colored pictures. You need the config file there. Once it's there, you are good to go. You really can just reach in here and drag this out. And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, you have your actual face pack is kind of that's I'm just obsessed with organizing my files. That's not important at all. I just dragged it out one file back so that when I go into logos, this is the actual pack. And they even have your lovely instructions that are telling you in way too many words what I'm telling you how to do now. Remarkably, we're still being brief here. So now let's open Football Manager and go through the last few steps to make sure that your logos are popping up in the game. Because God save the queen, if I do not have the logos up in my game for one more stream, I think there will be a riot in my stream chat. But if you want to be part of that riot, feel free to watch uh, the streams. I stream about five days a week on Twitch. I know Twitch is scary, but I'm not. So maybe you can just come hang out with me. <laughs> Am I scary? I don't know. I was in our Discord once while well, this loads. And there was somebody just sitting in the voice chat in the Discord by themselves, probably minding their own business. And I just dropped in and was like, hey. And they just left. I never heard from them again. Maybe that was my long lost father. And as you can already see, before we hit the load button, there is a badge on my third flight Portuguese team that I'm currently doing a save with, which is called... You guessed it, Oriental Dragon. It would have been your first first thing off the tongue. And uh, there are all the badges. If they don't pop up right away for you, that is because, again, you haven't done the faces or anything like this before. So I want you to go up to FM. I want you to go down to Preferences. Uh, and then I want you to go to Interface. You're probably going to start over here in Overview and you're like, there's no drop down, ceiling, ceiling. No, go to Advanced go to interface you're going to scroll down and there's a group of three things that i already scrolled past and that's use caching to you know decrease page loading times that's probably already ticked and both of these are not if you haven't touched this before that's what it looks like so you want to take this off turn the reloading skins on you can just click reload skin you don't even have to actually make a change to make this happen and then this is going to pop up the caching saves the images of all of the pages so that it takes much less time to load, which is great. Problem is you want those images to change. So if you turn off cache, caching, you reload the skin, the new data that makes up the skin, which includes now your fancy shiny logos, will be there. And then what you can do once they've actually loaded in, as you can see over here, you can turn that off, turn caching back on, and now all of a sudden you're saving pages and increasing your load time once again, and all is well with the world. And that is is how you get logos into the game. And if you've just finished watching this video, you can go get the faces by watching this video and you can get awesome regen faces that me and my team, uh, my team and I, my grandma would be abhorred, my team and I uh, worked on together for six months to get real AI generated faces on regens. You can check both of those out in the description. You can check me out in the description. I, there is an Instagram down there, so technically you can. See you there, babe. Yeah, I wasn't weird. No, not at all.